it's your host sauce from the viral kingdom and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create these really cool ai avatars that appear to be human but they're actually just ai you can use these to make any type of video on a line and they're fantastic because you never have to show your face if you want to use Wondershare Verbo, you can go to their website right here. The link will be down below. Once you get to this website, you can view all the different features as well as the products that they offer, like AI avatar, AI voice, AI script writers, and AI video translator. And I'll show some of those features in today's video. You can download the desktop app, or you can go ahead and select generate an AI video and use the web app, which will bring you to this page right here. Now, later in this video, I'll actually show you how you can use the AI talking head characters for your very own YouTube videos, but another really useful feature is the video translator tool. Now you can go ahead and go to the website of Wondershare Verbo, which will be linked down below, or you can download the desktop app or the video translator feature. I'm just going to use the web app and it's really easy to start using and it's really cool. So let's get started. So you first want to click on the video translator button. Now on this page is where you just want to upload the video that you want translated. Now right now they don't have the lip sync feature currently activated. However, this could be something coming out in the future, but there's still a bunch of different other options. So you can choose to add subtitles to your translated video as well as a proofread video script. Now I have a test video that I downloaded off of YouTube and now I'm just going to drag it over on to our video translator. Now that our video has been uploaded, I'm going to select the language of the original video, which was English. Then we can choose whatever language that we want to translate the video into. There is a whole bunch of different options like Chinese, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Italian, Japanese, Indonesian, Arabic, Filipino, Korean, Hindi, Russian, and French. What's really cool about this translator is that if there's background music in the original video, that it keeps that background music even in the translated version. So now I'm just going to select the language I want this video translated in and I am going to select Italian. Then I'm going to select translate this video and it's going to translate our video from English to Italian. Now while we wait for this video to be translated, let's talk about some of the use cases for the video translator tool because there definitely is a lot of cool use cases for this feature from Wondershare. It could easily help content creators reach people around the world even if they don't speak that native language. Additionally, this could help any company scale their business to go global and reach users around the world who speak a different language. Maybe you have your own podcast and this could be massive because you could just translate your entire podcast into a brand new language and reach a brand new market. So here is what the original video sounded like. If you're struggling to record videos with scripts, like people can tell that you're reading, do this. Wherever your phone is set up, let's say mine's right here. And now here is the translated video from Wondershare Verbo's video translator tool. Se stai lottando per registrare video con script, come le persone possono dire che stai leggendo? Fallo ovunque si trovi il tuo telefono, diciamo che il mio now I'll head over to the desktop application to show you the AI character feature. There is the talking photo styled video where you have these AI generated images who appear to be talking. Now before I start to pick my AI character that I'm going to use in this video, I first wanted to show you the fixed background which creates much more natural light on the video. And that's just because the background is fixed and it helps just make the lighting a lot more natural. So you can see from the, this portrait right here, it really looks like he is in this scene at the moment and he's inside of this room. So here's an example of that. This is a test example of a fixed background. 
Now we're not going to use a fixed background for the rest of today's tutorial, but I did want to showcase this brand new feature to Wondershare Verbo. Let's do a Christmas theme video. So I'm just going to select Scarlet here and I'm going to set her to portrait mode so that it can be in a short form video format. The next thing we'll need to do is add in an AI script for our video. And let's just say in this example, we want to make a video about five Christmas facts as it goes along with the theme of our AI generated character. So I'm just going to type in five Christmas facts and then I'm going to hit the expand button. After hitting the expand button, it's going to drastically expand our script and create a script about five fascinating facts about Christmas. So this seems pretty good, but I want to make my script even more engaging as it's supposed to be a video posted to social media and you want it to make it as engaging as possible so that it can get more views. I'm just going to hit apply here and now our script has been added to the video. Next, I'm going to go to the background button and I'm going to click the festival option and I'm just going to pick a Christmas theme as it goes along with our whole Christmas video idea. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to background music and I'm just going to go to festival and I'm going to see if there's any Christmas music that we can maybe add. If worse comes to worse, we could always just upload our very own Christmas song that we downloaded to the computer. I couldn't really find a song that I liked, so I'm just going to upload my own Christmas song here, which is Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. All right, now that the music has been uploaded, I'm just going to turn down the volume so that it's not overbearing to the video. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the subtitles. What's really nice about Wondershare Verbo is that they add all the subtitles in for you. However, the default text is a little boring, so we can go to the subtitle editing button button and then I'm going to select just subtitle text and edit style and here there's a ton of different customization options. Now I'm going to change to something more bold like this League Spartan font right here. I'm going to add a bit more spacing between the characters and I'm also going to italicize the text and also adjust like the outline surrounding the text. I'm going to select applies to all so that it's applied to every piece of text within our script. Now I can add in a sticker to the video as well. I feel like having a Merry Christmas sticker might make sense in this context. So I'm just going to drag this out and make it large, but I don't want it to cover the face of our AI character. So I'm going to move it down a layer and now it's going to go behind our AI character's face. Now what's really cool about this program is that it can mass generate videos. So what I can do now is that I have my script all finished and I have the girl that I want in my video. All I have to do is right click and select copy and now it's going to duplicate this video into a different scene. And then in this scene, I can add in a new script for a completely new video and it's going to keep the exact same AI character as well as the exact same background as my original video. All right, so I think everything is perfect and it's ready to be exported. So now we can go over to the export button or you can choose to preview it for exporting the video. Now one of the last things you can choose to do before exporting the video is changing the voice of your AI generated character. Obviously if you have a female character you want to select a female voice and because my text is all in English I'm going to select the English character. You can also adjust the speed at which they talk as well as the pitch and volume but we are not going to adjust any of that. Now I'm going to go over to export Alrighty, and here is the final result. Here are five fascinating facts about Christmas. First and foremost, Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December every year, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Secondly, the tradition of decorating Christmas trees can be traced back to Germany in the 16th century. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to check out Wondershare Verbo down below. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching the video.